everybody. Now, the Kirby Soft Plastics program, we're going to run through a few topics today and on today's agenda about the Kirby program. So we will speak about the Kirby program, where it stemmed from, how Kirby works. We're also going to do a bit of a live demonstration as well, so you can see just how to recycle your soft plastics from home. We'll talk into the nitty gritty details about acceptable items, unacceptable items. What's the difference? Now, after that, we'll talk about how to get started in the Kirby program so that you can participate as well. Touch on some of the Central Coast greatest achievements in the Kirby program so far. And then towards the end, we'll talk about some top tips with Kirby, how to keep up to date with all the apps and all the releases. And in the very end, we'll answer the most asked questions throughout the presentation and close out with a big thank you. So as a bit of fun today, what we thought we'd do is we thought we'd ask with a few questions just to gauge our audience and see who's actually participating in today's call and who's here. Now, please, this is an open space. Please be as honest as you can. These questions, there's no right or wrong answer, really. We're just hoping to gauge who we're speaking with so we can provide the most helpful information possible. All right, so the first question that I will share with you today I was popped on mute for a second there. Can you hear me still? Yes, we can hear you. Beautiful. Thank you for that, Daniela. All right. So the first question we're going to jump into today is what do you do with your soft plastics? Now, I'll post this question. Like I said, this question here is just so we can gauge who our audience is and provide the best information tailored to who is attending today. So take your time with this one. I'll give you a couple of seconds to answer um, before this program, actually, a little bit about myself is I used to take all my soft plastics to Coles and Woolies, and that was only recently. So before I even knew that you could recycle soft plastics, I, I know don't come for me, would put them in my red bin or avoid getting them at all. So just, I guess, to share that knowledge that sometimes there are programs out there, it's just about getting people aware of them. So I'll leave a couple more uh, seconds for people to answer that question, but what we're looking at so far is Red Bean Kirby. We've got a lot of Kirby members in this meeting today, which is fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Dropping off to Recycling or Coles or Woolworths. There's quite a few people who do that as well, which is fantastic. We constantly partner with brands and Red Cycle is one of them as well. We're always encouraging people to recycle their materials however they can. So I'll end that poll now and it looks like I'll share the results. Top of the pops was recycled with Kirby in the yellow litter bin. You guys. <laughs> All right, so that's fantastic. Thank you for answering that. It does give us a good idea of um, just who we do have in attendance today and we can make sure we give you the best information um, going off that. The next question that we have is, are you a Kirby member? I know you would think that going off the previous response that that would be fairly straightforward, but sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Again, open space, please be as honest as you possibly can. That question's live now, so answer when you can. Now, um, I was lucky enough to participate in the Kirby trial when that came out. I know it was only available to a, a limited number of people on the Central Coast Council. So it'd be interesting to see who of these Kirby members we have today also participated in the trial. I'll leave that up for a couple more seconds so you can answer it if you can. Beautiful. All right, I'll end it. I'll share those results so everyone can see, but looks like we've almost got an 80% Kirby member rate, which is fantastic. I think you guys are going to really find the information we have available today really useful. For those who aren't Kirby members, I hope you come away from today with a lot of information about what Kirby is, why it's valuable, and the pathway to join Kirby too. Next question we've got. So do you know where the Kirby program started? I'll share this question and as always, open space, answer it as best you can. Now, I personally participated in the Kirby program um, as the trial and then into the full program. And it wasn't until I actually started working in Kirby 
did I know where the program started, where it was based out of? So it looks like going off the results we have so far, um, uh, high percentage of the people <laughs> in this meeting knew where Kirby started from, but there are some like myself who also didn't know. So a couple more, couple more seconds to answer that question before we close it off. Beautiful. Okay, I'll end that and share the results now. But yes, the Central Coast Council is where Kirby first started. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm a coastie. I've lived on the coast my whole entire life. So when I found out that this is a program that started in my community, that helps empower my community, I mean, not only was it incredible to be participating as a member, but to work for these guys is definitely a good reason to get out of bed in the morning, that's for sure. And the last question, I think my favourite question. Since starting in 2020, how much soft plastic do you think the Central Coast has recycled? Now, I'll share this question because it is so important. I think the Central Coast Council or the community realise just how much of an effect they have when they actively participate and what they have the, chat, the power to achieve together. So I'm seeing some results come in. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'll share it once everyone's answered. Don't worry, I won't keep it all to myself. Okay. Now, a little bit of stats on this one here. If you're looking at the Central Coast Council, we started back in 2020 uh, as the trial and then transitioned into the full program in uh, August of this year. So less than two years. Now, I'll end this poll and I'll share the results. Now, 20 tonnes is the correct answer. Now, I'm glad no one went for five tonnes. It means we're, we're ambitious and we're achieving goals here. Now, to put that into perspective, 20 tonnes is the equivalent to 2,607,750 plastic bags. Now, that is just what's been recycled in the Central Coast Council alone in the last less than two years. So that's an incredible feat for the Central Coast and something I'm very proud to be a part of. And for all our Kirby members here, thank you. Keep up the great work because that number there is something to be very proud of. If you'd like, a, I guess, a comparison, that number is eight and a half times the number of the current Central Coast population. So you guys, you are well and truly making a difference. So thank you very much. Okay, now, Jumping out of the questions, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. It does give us an insight as to who we're speaking with today and I guess where the Kirby knowledge sits. So this is really helpful and I had a little fun. I hope you guys did too. Now, you might be asking, you know, why soft plastics? There's so many different types of materials that we can recycle and that we can focus on. Why did Kirby start a soft plastics recycling program? Now, the reason behind that and these stats here, Oop, too far. Now, on average, every Aussie uses 100 kilos of soft plastic a year. That's not your, including your drink bottles and your milk cartons. This is purely your soft plastic. So cling wrap, plastic bags, chip packets, 100 kilos each person. So if you break it down for myself, that 100 kilos will be the equivalent to 12 and a half thousand plastic bags a year. Now, I guess that's a big number to wrap your head around, but if we shrink it down even further, that's the same as me using 34 plastic bags every single day of the year. So as we start to break down those numbers, we see that there is a big portion of soft plastics that we're using as individuals. Now, how much of that gets recycled? That next statistic there, 13%. Only 13% of that 100 kilos gets recycled. Now, why? If 13% if is being recycled, why can't we recycle the whole 100 kilos that I'm creating? Jumping into the last statistic, this is where we think the reason comes from. Now, from what we know, only 20% of all of the Australians here know that you can actually recycle your soft plastic and how to do so. So we believe that by creating the Kirby program and empowering people to recycle their soft plastics in a fun and easy way, you can do it at home, you can do it from your phone. If we can encourage the community to do that, we can increase the amount of soft plastic that's recycled and make it a recyclable, valuable and renewable resource. 
So that's where the Kirby program come from. Jumping into a bit about Kirby and, and how it stemmed and when it stemmed and what does the Kirby future look like? Let's have a look, shall we? So about the Kirby program, where did Kirby come from? Why is Kirby here? Now, there's a facility on the Central Coast um, called IQ Renew and they're responsible for recycling these soft plastics. Now, they can recycle the soft plastics, but the issue that we faced was how do we get the community on board? How do we encourage the community to send us their soft plastics so that we can recycle them and turn them into new materials? Now, that's when the brand Curb Cycle um, first come about and Kirby, the soft plastic program, is a project of Curb Cycle. So a lot of the time, that's why you'll see Kirby and Curb Cycle in the same um, sentence is because it's one of the programs that we offer. So that all stemmed into the, uh, 2020. And then in 2020, which was a big year for everyone, um, including Curb Cycle, we launched the first soft plastics trial. Now, exclusively available to a limited number of participants on the Central Coast. Um, that trial went for a few months and it wasn't until August of this year did we see the results of that program and were we able to offer it to the entire Central Coast community. So the program has been full-time and available to all Central Coast Council residents since uh, August of this year. And as you can see, going off those numbers that we talked about and how much has been recycled, it's, in, it's incredible to see what we can achieve together as a community. So looking into the future, what else is Kirby going to help us achieve and what does the Kirby future look like? So for those who follow us on our social medias, Facebook and Instagram, you would have seen that yesterday we launched a new trial in our neighbouring council, Newcastle. So that's the Aluminium Coffee Capsule Recycling Program. They are now entering, they've entered the trial where they can recycle all of their aluminium coffee capsules the same way you currently recycle your soft plastics. Goes in a Kirby bag, gets scanned, pop it in your recycling bin, and we recycle it from there. So that program is just one of the many programs that we're hoping to release, um, obviously to more councils throughout New South Wales and hopefully Australia one day. But we also want to offer communities other materials that they can recycle from home. I'm sure you've all thought about, oh, well, we can recycle this as I use plenty of this other product. How can we recycle this as well? Trust me, we're thinking about it and we are hoping to release programs where you can recycle multiple materials through the same way you do right now, popping it into your bin. So keep an eye across our uh, social medias. It's the best way to keep updated on what programs are being released and when. Now, let's have a look at the the work, the flow behind Kirby, you know, you'll fill your bag, but what actually happens to it? Where does it go? Now, how Kirby works. So you can see on your screen, a few pictures and a few words that describe the Kirby journey to you. So if we start from the left, travel to the right, we've got our Kirby bag that we fill with our soft plastics, the chip packets, the chocolate packets. I keep mentioning chips and chocolate, so you can tell what kind of person I am. Um, you've got all your plastic bags, um, frozen veggie packets, things like that. Um, and then they get sealed up into a plastic bag and the Kirby tag gets placed over the top. Now, we'll talk more about this because we will do a demonstration on how to actually fill that Kirby bag. But the next step is to scan the tag on the Kirby bag. Now, this is located in the app. Everyone who is a member of the Kirby program and has their um, Kirby app will scan using the app. And there is a significant importance to this. I'd say that scanning these bags are almost just as important as actually sending us the soft plastics to start with. Um, we'll touch on it more in the demonstration, but for now, I will summarize it by saying the QR codes are one of the ways that we measure just how successful this program really is. It shows us how many bags we can expect to receive at our recycling facility and how supportive the community of, of Sorry, community is of this program. Once you've scanned your bag, you can see there that you pop it in your recycling bin to be collected on your normal recycling day. This is one of the best bits about the Kirby program is we pride ourselves and encourage collaboration and innovation. Now we tap into the existing bin collection service offered through Council and Clean Away. What that means for you is that this process is even easier because all you need to do is pop that Kirby bag 
into your yellow bin the same way you do with your cardboard boxes and your milk bottles, things like that. Pop them in your Kirby, so pop them in your recycling bin. They'll get collected on your normal bin day. We'll look after the rest. So you don't need to take them anywhere. Um, there's nothing else that you need to do. Just pop them into your bin and we'll look after it. So your bin's collected on your normal bin day by your normal bin collector and it is taken to the material recovery facility. This is where all your recycling goes. And from here, our IQ Renew team recover those precious Kirby bags. We collect all the Kirby bags and take them to the IQ Renew facility, which is where these plastics undergo a transformation. So they're recycled into a resource that we can then use to create more plastics from recycled plastic. It's an, an incredible process. And you can see there with that last picture, a Kit Kat wrapper. Now we didn't just put that there because Kit Kats are obviously delicious. We put that there because we partnered with Kit Kat to complete this process. So we had Kit Kats that were consumed, placed into the Kirby bags, recycled, created new Kit Kat wrappers. So we closed the entire circle on what was previously seen as a single use plastic. Now it's recyclable and just as valuable as your cardboard box or your, your milk bottles. So it's, it's a huge step for us and it's very important in reducing our emissions and our carbon footprint as well because the process does use less, um, produce less carbon emissions and use less materials than creating new plastics all over again, which is something we're trying to avoid. But when we're able to complete this cycle over and over again, the things we, we can achieve with the environment are incredible. Now, jumping into, I think maybe my favorite bit is time for a Kirby demonstration. So what I will do is I will stop sharing my screen so that you can see me and focus on the steps that I'm following. Now, what I will be doing is I'm going to fill a Kirby bag so that you can see just what process needs to be followed when you're completing this. So here I have, I have a Kirby bag and it has quite a significant amount of soft plastics in there, but I thought rather than just seal it and show you what to do after those steps, I've got some other plastics here that I need to go in. And I think it's a good example of how you can see what can go in there. Um, I've got some icy pole packets that have to go in here as well. Some dog treats. Well, just the packaging, not the treats. It is crucial. Everything that goes into these bags has to be clean and dry. Now, the purpose behind that is if this bag has food in it or it has contaminants, plastics that are wet or still sticky, that will contaminate the contents of your curvy bag. It's similar to um, cans that still have food in it. If they aren't um, acceptable and they're considered contaminants, they will go to landfill. So if we can get everyone to ensure that their plastics are dry and clean, then what's in this Kirby bag will be able to be recycled. So it's, it's very important that we touch on that because you guys are going through the hard work and the effort of sending us this Kirby bags because you want your, you want your soft plastics recycled and we want to recycle them, but please ensure whatever goes in here is clean and dry. Jumping on to the other examples I have, I have a used plastic bag. By used, I mean I've used it before, it's not dirty. Um, like I said, chocolate wrappers, don't judge me. Um, a chip packet of popcorn, that'll go in there too. Some used, but again, clean cling wrap, that's going in there. Very important, this looks like foil, but it's actually a plastic. It came off um, some crackers, so that'll go in my bag. Um, a cereal packet, that too is going to go in my Kirby bag. Um, one that I think is important and we do get asked a lot in the Kirby program is um, mailers. So during lockdown, if you're anything like me, I've done a significant amount of online shopping. So I have quite a few of these post bags, providing they are plastic, even if they've got little bubble wrap protecting inside, they can be recycled. Be mindful when you're recycling your post parcel bags that come, we can only recycle plastic. If the parcel bag that comes is made of a bio or a compostable material, so it's made from maybe a cornstarch or um, another plant fiber, 
we can't accept that. And the reason being is those bags are specifically designed to break down in a landfill environment. So if you have bags that are made from plants or are completely compostable, please continue to put them in your red bin so that they can break down the way they're meant to. We only recycle soft plastic, so that would be considered a contaminant in this plastic bag. Um, another example of my um, online shopping to continue. Last two items that I want to share with you that can go in this bag are bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is just an aerated soft plastic. So that can go into your Kirby bag, no worries at all. And the last one is a produce bag. So this would, initially I considered this to be, I guess, a woven fabric before I really learned about soft plastics. Now the label, I know the label can go in there because if you can see, uh, I'm not going to show you, but that's okay. On here it says return to store and it has a red cycle symbol. That is because the label itself is a plastic. So I can pop that in my bag. Now, the netting itself is just a woven malleable plastic. So because it's not cotton, it's not a fiber, still plastic, it can go in here. But before I do that, most of these bags have a little metal clip on the top. Mine still has it attached. I'm actually going to remove that plastic clip, put that in a different bin. And then these two items will go straight into my Kirby bag. All right, got some other random pieces of little plastic. We'll put them in there as well because this does need to go into the bin tonight. Okay, so I've got my Kirby bag with all my soft plastics ready to go. What I'm going to do is compress this because my recycling bin has a lot to go inside it. And I'm going to tie one knot, tie a second knot. So my Kirby bag has been double knotted so that the first doesn't come undone and my plastic don't leak throughout my bin. Now that that's sealed, the second thing I'm going to do is attach a Kirby tag. So these Kirby tags come in your uh, starter kit when you sign up with Kirby and each order after that. Now they are long, as you can see, it's quite a long tag, but there is mess into the madness. So just gonna peel one of these labels off now so you can see, long, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach it from the back of the bag. Oh, I'll see if you can see. Right across to the front of the bag. That tag now goes from the front over my double knot to the back. Reason for this, two reasons. The Kirby tags are long because they're a second line of defense. In your bin, this Kirby bag has to journey from your bin to the recycling truck, from the recycling truck to the facility, from the facility to the IQ Renew facility where it is recycled. That tag is the second line of defense so that that bag doesn't burst. You wouldn't think it's very effective, but going off all the data we have so far, it's very effective. So that's the first reason. And the second reason is because of these QR codes on the side of them. Now every QR code here, it's the exact same QR code. The reason there are so many of them is because it's going through a process where machinery detects these QR codes to measure how many bags we have. So what I'm going to do is I'll scan my Kirby bag so you can see what happens in the app once we scan a Kirby bag. So bear with me and I'll just get my phone so I can do that. Now, being a Kirby member, I've already downloaded the Kirby app. I'll click on my Kirby app. Okay. So with my Kirby bag here, I'm going to click on the Kirby It button in the app, which is where I recycle all my soft plastics. Bear with me, my internet's a little bit slow, so I appreciate your patience. Okay. Bear with me. Has anyone else had, um, because of all the rain we've had recently, the internet has gone so slow, but that's okay. Here at Kirby, uh, we're patient people. So clicking on Kirby it now that it's working, I'm ready to Kirby it because I've done this a few times. I don't need to read through the information that tells me how to apply the bag, the tag to the bag, I've already done that. Now it comes up so that I can scan, you can see, it opens my camera so I can scan the code. I've got a QR code here and I'm going to, if we can get this to line up, Going to scan that there. Whoop. Let's see if we can do this so far. 
you do need to make sure it's clear. Oh, there we go. It's recognized it. And it's popped up with a Kirby high five and it says scan successful. That's it. I've just earned myself 10 Kirby points. Thank you for witnessing that. Now, from there, all I will do with this now is the same thing I do with all of my recycling. And you can see the little bin to my left or right. It'll just go in there. Simple as that. So that's the Kirby demonstration. That's how to load your soft plastics into the Kirby bag, how to attach the tag, how to scan the QR code and how to pop it in your bin, which I don't think you guys needed help with that. You've got that one sorted. So I'll share the presentation again so that you can see. Let's jump back into this. And I'll just get um, Daniela or Michelle to confirm when you can see my screen, please. Yep, all good. Beautiful. All right, let's continue the Kirby journey. So acceptable items, what can we accept? What can't we accept? I know we've spoke about um, what items I put into my bag, but some of the items you see here, I didn't actually touch on. So we can see that you've got your bread bags, uh, you've got cereal liners. Uh, I definitely touched on the chocolate and the chip wrappers. They can go in there. Um, the produce, produce bags. Now, an important one I think um, to touch on is the dog food bags. Now, the reason I want to touch on this is because so many people reach out to us. And if you're anything like me, I buy my dog food in bulk. So it comes in this huge 20 kilo bag. Excuse me. And if I were to put that in my Kirby bag, it'd take up the whole bag. So can you cut plastics to make them fit? And can you cut plastics so that um, they're separated? Yes, you can. As long as the plastics that come through to us are clean and dry, we can accept them and we can recycle them. So for example, we have a lot of people ask about um, yogurt squeezy tubes with the hard lid. They can, become, they can be sent through to Kirby to be recycled. If you cut the lid off, give it a quick rinse and a dry. Send it through to us, we can recycle it, no problem at all. And it's the same with the um, dog food bags and the compost bags as well, because they are usually such large bags you are welcome to cut them into smaller pieces and put them in the bag. I've found that works because I can get a bag that's usually huge into such a small pile and pop it at the bottom of my Kirby bag. So um, a few, I would call them random items that people have asked about include the yogurt tubes, but another item that can be placed into your Kirby bag, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, is the little plastic tag that you find on the back of clothes when you buy them. Do you know that little plastic clip that attaches your, I guess, the label or the, um, I've forgotten the name of it, but the, the tag when you purchase new clothes, that little plastic clip that you normally have to cut or if you're anything like me, sometimes you just try and rip it off and you put a hole in your clothes. That piece of plastic can go into your Kirby bag. Now, there are things like that that are, they're not commonly asked, but we are more than happy to answer your specific questions. If you've got an item and you think, I don't know if this is recyclable, but I really want it to be, <laughs> reach out to Team Kirby and we are more than happy to look into it for you and give you the best information we can. And that comes back to ensuring that the material that goes into each bag is um, acceptable and so that it doesn't contaminate the rest of the bag that you have there. So. That's us touching on um, acceptable items. One item that did just pop to mind is Ziploc bags. Some people think because it's, you know, it's soft and I can scrunch it in my hand, but that zipper, as long as that zipper is a plastic zipper, chuck the whole bag in the Kirby bag. Again, get your little crumbs out of there and make sure it's clean and dry, but we can accept Ziploc bags as well. All right, so the next item I'd like to talk about is, okay, so we know what items Kirby can accept what items can't Kirby accept. So being a soft plastics program, the only plastics we recycle have to be soft. And the best way to remember that is if you can scrunch it in your hand, it's a soft plastic. So that uh, eliminates all your plastic bottles, your milk bottles, uh, the tray that biscuits come in, that hard tray, pop it in your normal recycling bin. It'll still be recycled just through a different avenue. Our program is designed purely for soft plastics. Hard plastics, you can continue to recycle through your normal bin. There are some items on here that I think it, 
it is worth noting they can't be recycled through Kirby. Um, one of them we touched on, which is the compostable or biodegradable bags. The second is PVC. Now, PVC is a, a relative within the plastic family, but it's not one that we can recycle. Now, the reason for that is because it has a different um, composition. It's made up of different chemicals and it behaves differently. So we can only accept plastics that are outside of that family. And if you're wondering, okay, well, how do I figure out what's a PVC? Most plastics that your food come in are a normal um, soft plastic that we can recycle. When you start to look at items like pool floaties, um, some really um, dense plastic that you can find on cheeses. It's not the normal teary cling wrap. It's the kind of plastic that you couldn't pull apart. It's so thick and it's so dense. Um, and you usually have to get a pair of scissors and really cut into it to open it. The other things I think is worth touching on as well is the normal things um, that aren't considered a soft plastic. And it may seem silly to ask, but it is worth noting. Um, you know, food waste, uh, papers and cardboards, any kind of compostable items like lawn trimmings. This is purely just a soft plastic recyclable service. So um, like I mentioned before, these items will contaminate the soft plastics if you do place them into that bin. And I think the way I consider it is, it's similar to a newspaper. Newspapers are perfectly recyclable when you place them in your recycling bin as is. The second it becomes wet or it's covered in food, it's no longer a recyclable material. It's the same with our Kirby materials, our soft plastics. They have to be clean and they have to be dry. Okay, so, all right, well, that's the Kirby program. That's everything that we recycle. That's how we recycle it. That's why we recycle it. Now, how do you actually get involved in the Kirby program? Like I mentioned before, Kirby program operates purely out of the Kirby app. Now, the Kirby app is available for on all phone devices, whether it's iOS, on the App Store, Android, on the Google Play Store, you can download the Kirby app. Now, downloading the Kirby app step, second step is how do you actually register to be a participant in the program? Now, when you download the Kirby app and you start completing the registration within the app, it's a couple of questions at the start and then you're good to go. So questions we ask are basic questions around, you know, one, which program would you like to participate in? Now, for our Kirby members here in the chat, you would have had to select soft plastics when you registered with Kirby. The reason we ask you this, I know it seems like, well, there's only one program. Why would I not want to participate? In future, we are going to offer more programs. So we provide the community the choice. You know, what do you want to recycle? For example, we just released the coffee capsule program in Newcastle. Not everyone drinks coffee. I don't know how. But that's the case. So we give people the option to participate in programs that are available to them. Remember, by selecting that program, that is when you can participate. If not, you're simply registered with the Kirby program and you can have a look at all of our resources that are available. Now, third step, once you complete that registration within the Kirby app, we automatically send you your Kirby starter pack. Now, when you register, we do ask for your email address for this reason, so your home address for this reason. We need to know where to send this Kirby starter pack. We also need to confirm that your address is within one of the councils where we offer the program. So that's why we ask. Inside your Kirby pack, which will be shipped to you, you will get a Kirby brochure that tells you about the program, how to participate, acceptable and unacceptable items. You'll also receive 12 Kirby bags to recycle your soft plastics. And along with those 12 Kirby bags are 12 Kirby tags. As you can see, every Kirby bag has to have a corresponding Kirby tag. And again, it's so we can measure the success of this program and measure the volume of plastics we have coming in. It's crucial to expanding this program and being able to continue a service like this with the community. Now, when you run out of Kirby packs, never fear, you can request more in the Kirby app. Again, they'll be delivered to your home address in the app. Um, and we are looking at having more ways available to the community to collect these bags, but for now, it's all done within the app. I know we wanted to touch on um, 
some achievements on the Central Coast. And I think it's so important. It's something I'm so proud of. I'm not going to take all the credit for it because so many of us here on the coast. But if we have a look at it, the Central Coast to date, the Kirby program has a 4.8 out of 5 star rating, which is heartwarming because it means that the program we're offering to the community is it's serving a purpose. It's helping the community to recycle materials that were once considered a single use item and it's giving them the power to have fun with it and do it from the comfort of their own home. I know during lockdown there was a lot of hesitation between people you know, leaving home and not everyone wanted to go to Coles or Woolies to drop their soft plastics off but we've seen so many incredible people continue to recycle their soft plastics through the Kirby program which enables you to do it from the safety of your own home. So Jumping out of that statistic and into the next one, the amount of rubbish the Central Coast has diverted from landfill. For, um, I guess, comparison, I drive a little Honda Jazz. That is the equivalent to 16 of my cars. So in less than two years, the entire Central Coast has recycled 16 cars worth of soft plastic. And if you think about how much a piece of uh, a chip packet weighs or a piece of cling wrap, you can start to imagine just how much plastic we have recycled as a community. Now, the Kirby program, one in every 14 houses on the Central Coast is a Kirby member and are participating in the Kirby program. We hope that that number will climb and we can recycle more and more soft plastics and running through events like this is one of the ways to do that. So if your neighbours or your family haven't heard of Kirby, get them on board. We want as many people in the community recycling their soft plastics as possible. It helps um, be able to deliver this program to communities outside the Central Coast Council, but it also helps us empower you to take control of the materials that you can recycle. Now, the Kirby programs, I know we've spoken about launching a new program to Newcastle yesterday, but we're looking at launching more programs here on the Central Coast and to our neighbouring councils as well. To date, only the Central Coast Council is participating in the soft plastics program, and we really hope to expand that as well. Imagine how many um, little cars we can, worth the rubbish we can recycle if we're able to expand. So we also, one of our goals, we want to improve the experience that our Kirby members are having with Kirby. We want to make it even more enjoyable, even easier to do. And one of those ways is by up updating our app and finding innovative ways to make it easy for the community to collect their Kirby tags and recycle their Kirby bags and be rewarded for the hard work that they are doing because without you guys honestly this, this program wouldn't be able to to go on the community is essential for the continuation of the Kirby program so they're things that we will focus on in the future the program is designed for the community, so we welcome feedback so we can create a program that you enjoy participating in and, I guess, get more people on board. It's an incredible initiative. So keep updated via our social medias, Facebook and Instagram, and that way you'll know when we have new program releases and when we update the app so that you have um, more benefits as well. One of those benefits at the moment is the rewards program. So for our existing Kobe members on when you scan your Kirby bag, just as I did then, and receive 10 Kirby points. At the moment, the Kirby points are a way for you to track your journey and say, oh, okay, I know how much I've recycled and you can kind of compete with your household or your neighbours if you like. But in future, we want to change that so that you can redeem your Kirby rewards. So we'll launch that, um, we'll share that on our socials when we do launch it, but definitely keep an eye on it and ensure you scan all your bags so your Kirby points accrue. Now, let's jump into some top tips and tricks. We have a few inquiries come through from the community and they're like, hey, how do I do this? Or I'm a little stuck here, can you help me? So I thought today would be a good opportunity to jump into a few top tips that we have. Now, the top one at the point, obviously to scan the QR codes is to collect the Kirby points. We have some people say, hey, you know, my Kirby points aren't going up. And when we check to see if you're actually scanning them, they're like, oh, no, I thought maybe you guys did that on the other end. Sorry, I'll continue to do that. So scan all your Kirby tags, please. We touched on briefly removing hard plastics so that you can recycle materials. The squeezy yogurt tubes are a perfect example. The plastic, 
the soft plastic component of that is completely recyclable through Kirby. So cut those lids off, cut metal tags off. We don't mind what shape the plastic comes to us in as long as it's clean and dry. Now, recycling codes we touched on um, when we spoke about PVC. PVC, as you can see, is number three and is not on that little list. One, two, four, and five, for those of you who want to take notes, is what we can accept. But the easiest way for, or I, for me to understand it was if I can scrunch it in my hand and it's not a number three, it's going in my Kirby bag. Now, Kirby packs. We've had some inquiries lately about delivery times with Kirby bags, and we appreciate everyone's patience so much. We really do feel the inconvenience when they don't arrive on time. But the truth of it is, when we receive your Kirby pack, request it is dispatched within 24 hours so at the moment we've been advised by Oz Post that there was a three to four three to four week delay on deliveries that's now since shrunken is two to three weeks so we really appreciate your patience while your Kirby bag makes that journey towards you we can assure you we're doing everything in our power and because of this we're also looking at other ways for you to collect your Kirby bags because we don't want you waiting we don't want you to have to your soft plastics at home or have to take them to red cycle if you don't need to. Um, feedback as well, like I mentioned, we welcome all feedback and that's because this program is designed for the community. If there's areas that we can improve on or something that we're doing well, please feel free to share it with us so that we can continue to provide a program that you enjoy participating in. Now, updating your app is it's very important because sometimes we release new features in the Kirby app. We will share on our social medias when we release new features or new app, app updates. Um, recently, we released an app update where you can change the reminders in the Kirby app. So my Kirby app at the moment will tell me the day before my normal bin collection is. Some people don't want a reminder at all. Or some people want to be reminded two days before. If you update your app, you're actually able to go in there, enable them, change the date, whatever suits you best. Um, to follow the social medias, like I touched on before, it is important because that is where we share our program releases, our, our happy stories, our, our up, app updates. Feel free to follow us on social media. Um, that's our Facebook page, our Instagram page. We're at Kirby the Bilby for everything. Hard to miss that great little Bilby. Um, but you can also see when we launch new programs as well, which is really exciting. Uh, changing reminder dates and apps. We touched on that with the app updates. And the last question, or the last tip would be when you move, let us know. So the reason we say this is because you can continue to participate in the Kirby program so long as you remain within the area that it's offered in. For example, if I were to move on the Central Coast, to another house on the Central Coast, my Kirby journey will continue with me. All I do is update the address. So it's easy to do if you move outside of Central Coast Council at the moment, because it's not being offered anywhere else, your, your account will still exist, nothing will happen. It'll just be on pause until the program's launched in that council. So there are our top questions that we get asked. Um, and I think now it's probably a good chance to jump into um, some Q&A. What were the most asked questions that we had um, throughout this presentation? I, I can see that the chat has been going wild, which is fantastic. Daniela, you're doing um, a great job in there. Um, bear with me. I'm just going to see what the top questions for today was. Uh, hey, well. see. Yeah. Hi, Daniela. They're being having some interesting conversations they have yeah like, i've been even looking for uh, some materials uh really yeah. interesting questions uh i think um i don't know uh if michelle or joey want to maybe um yeah give you some of the faqs uh, most of them about are about material types so i think yeah that's... yeah specific soft plastic questions yeah so yeah. Yeah, okay, no problem. Well, that's good. If I mean, if the biggest questions we have coming out of today is surrounding what types of materials can go into the Kirby bag, it sounds like everyone's on board. Um, the list of items that can be accepted, 
when this presentation gets posted, we'll also post a link to all our frequently asked questions and we'll post a link so that you can see those lists of what's acceptable and what's unacceptable through any smaller items or anything that you think, oh, this is a really niche item. I really want to double check. Um, on the screen right now, you can see on the right hand side, there's the Kirby app with the Bilby having a little celebration. That email address will come directly to Daniela and I. So if you say, hey, Stevie, or hey, Kirby, you know, is this, is this recyclable? Can I put this in my Kirby bag? Please send a screenshot that does make it, uh, sorry, a picture that makes it a lot easier for us to identify. But we're happy to answer all your Kirby questions about items that are acceptable. It's so important to get this right so we can recycle as much as possible. And sometimes um, certain plastics that you think, no, nah, it wouldn't be, it can't be. Sometimes it is. So please, um, please feel free to reach out to Kirby. And it's not just about um, what types of soft plastics can be recycled. If you have any questions that you feel, um, you know, I, I haven't found it quite on the FAQs or you know, maybe I, I, I forgot what you mentioned, please reach out to us. We are, like I said, the program is here for the community. So we are here to help in every way that we can. Awesome. Uh, see, we have so like we can ask some of these like is this program being communicated to schools where the there will be a lot of plastics from chips? Yeah, yeah. So a fantastic question, and we get this one quite a lot. Is can my small business participate? Or we actually had a hospital ask if they can participate, which is incredible to think that they would even consider us. Um, but preschools and primary schools and things like that now. The Kirby program is designed to accept waste from a household um, volume. Now, in saying that, the more Kirby soft plastics we get, the better. The quicker the program can grow. But I mention it in that way because schools and, and businesses, they will produce a higher volume of soft plastics, which means we need to be even more diligent about what is going into that bag. So if it's a school participating, for example, we'd need to ensure that there's no food in the plastic. There's the squeezy tubes have been, the lids have been cut off. They've been rinsed and dried quickly. Um, so there's a lot to consider when we talk about offering the program to schools. And we want to, we really do. We just need to make sure that we have a program tailored to schools that makes recycling these soft plastics easy to do. If you're a, a small preschool or a small business and you're like, oh, no, we'll only will only have maybe one Kirby bag in a week and I'm happy to clean that out, then please register in the Kirby app, use the address for the school or the small business and send us your soft plastics. But those larger schools um, and larger businesses, we really need to have a program tailored to them to ensure that the soft plastics we get, we can recycle and then that their hard work is recognised. So we haven't launched it yet. We are hoping to have something like this in future and like I keep repeating, like a broken record, um, follow our social media so that you can see when these programs are launched. Everyone who's reached out to us already from a school or a business, we've kept their details so we can let them know. But for the public to be aware of it, I encourage you to follow the, follow the social medias and we'll let you know as soon as we can. Awesome, thank you. Beautiful, all right. Well, it seems like that'll wrap us up for today. Um, I want to thank everyone for not only participating in today's presentation, but for all of our existing Kirby members. Thank you. You guys are doing an incredible job. Keep the hard work coming. By participating in this program, you are turning a resource that was once going straight to landfill because it was considered single use. You're turning it into a recyclable and a valuable resource. In my eyes, just as valuable as a cardboard box or a, a milk bottle, just as recyclable. So to all our people attending today who aren't Kirby members, we hope that you took some information away from today and that you were able to learn a little bit more about the Kirby program. And to everyone, if you have any questions, please reach out. We are always here to help.